Through. This conference will now be recorded. Okay. So I uh, will be starting our next topic that is vendor master, VP, business part. Okay. So the so the topics that we are going to cover. Okay. There we will see what is business partner. Okay. What is a business partner category? Business partner rule. What is business partner rule? and how to maintain the purchasing data for the business part. So these are the ones we will cover in the business part. Okay. So basically uh, the, the vendor master information uh, the, in the, in the in any company for the purchasing, they need suppliers, they need vendors. Okay. So that vendor, the vendor master contains information about the vendors that supply materials or services to an enterprise. So the information about that vendor is maintained in the vendor master okay information about a vendor is stored in individual vendor master records like vendor name address the currency okay the terms of payments and name of important contact persons all this information is maintained in the vendor master records okay now in s4 hana the master data of suppliers and customers is managed in SAP S4 HANA by using business partner master data. Okay, so basically what they did is they simplified the approach. Okay, so normally in the ECC, what happens is in the old in the ECC version, normally what happens is to create vendors, we use transactions XK01 change xk02 display xk03 we use this and in the sd to create customers they use xd01 xd02 and xd03 now what they did in s4 hana is they simplified it and they gave a common approach called business part business part okay so the vendors and customers are called as business partners and now everything you will be doing through a transaction called BP, business part. Whether it create, change, display, everything happens through this single, single transaction BP for both in our MM vendors, MM module vendors and HD module customers. All, all happens through a single transaction in S4. Okay, so that is a change. Okay. The master data of suppliers and customers is managed in SAP S4 HANA by using business partner master data. Now it is called as business partner. Okay. By using this approach, it is possible to centrally maintain the master data for suppliers and customers. That's what I just explained. In SAP ERP, ERP, ECC, they were handled separately. That's what I just explained. Okay. So in ECC, we have different transaction codes for creating and change but here you will now now have a common one that is it okay so now to create a business partner the first thing is the category you need to have category business partner category okay so normally when you go to the transaction you will be able to see a person or an organization or a group you will three you will see these three categories okay when you are trying to create a business partner so a business partner can be a supplier or he can be a customer okay so first we'll understand what is this business partner category suppose if i go to the transaction i'll go to the system first okay so uh, there are two ways to go to business partner. One is just directly type the transaction code BP. It will take you to the that particular transaction. Maintain business partner. This is one method. Another one is even if you type the old T code, let's say XK01. Okay. Even if you type the T code, ultimately it will take you to the business partner. You see, you are getting a message redirecting to transaction bp as transaction xk01 is obsolete so here you have to choose the category this is the category we are we will be now talking talking about person organization or group suppose if i select organization if i continue 
ultimately it will take you to the again the business partner screen basically okay so ideally you can directly trigger bp transaction you can be directly to can trigger or even if you type xk01 or xd01 ultimately it will lead you to bp transaction okay so first we'll start talk about these three person organization and group what is this business partner category okay here when a business partner is created when a business partner is created when a bp is created the business partner category must be selected okay the business partner category is is the term used to classify a business partner as one of the following either he is a person an individual person or a group or a group or an organization a legal entity okay so normally if you see here you have three person organization and a group okay so normally this person will be used in hr mode normally okay so most of the time in mm you will be using the organization you will be using the organization because we are dealing with a another company that supplier is like basically a another company to us okay so normally you will be using the organization okay so that is the one so other ones are used in other modules now person or group okay so now this business the business partner category determines which fields are available for data so this category basically determines what fields you need to enter okay another point to be noted here is assignment of business partner category cannot be changed once the business partner has been created so once you create a partner once you save it you cannot change the business partner category it cannot be done okay so no so this is the one okay so normally for the vendors normally you will be using the business partner category organization organization okay after that you have the business partner grouping okay so first let's start with my one first is business bp category so what category we are using organization organization okay next one is bp bp group bp group okay so we'll understand what is this bp group bp group okay so bp grouping is basically for the number ranges here you see here you have a grouping if i click on the drop down if i click on the drop down here you have a lot of groupings so this business partner grouping is basically for the number range number assignment so what i will do i'll select vn01 bp grouping for maintain main vendor select that so what bp grouping we are using vn0 Everyone, this is a training system due to which you have a lot of groupings. But in the client system, real-time systems, you will have very few groupings. This is a training system, right? So people created as per their wish. Okay. So basically, BP grouping is like a what type of vendor? Whether he is a regular vendor, one-time vendor, okay, or a service vendor, or sometimes local vendor or import vendor. So that is like grouping. It is same like in ECC. if you recollect ecc well, let me go to ecc system if you go to ecc system if you go to ecc system in the ecc system when we go to xk01 here you have account group right so this account group is more or less nothing but this bp group more or less both same okay so what type of vendor regular vendor one time vendor service vendor or local vendor import vendor so that's what ultimately it controls the number assignment it's basically like type of vendor type of vendor and it controls the number number assignment number assignment okay so i will use vn01 
we have zero. Next one is BP road. Okay, next one is BP road. BP road. So what is this BP road? We will understand the BP road here. I'll explain first BP road. Business partner road 